The continuous discrimination against persons with disabilities is daily making it difficult for some to live meaningful lives. Despite this, many persons living with disabilities in Kano State are breaking all barriers by utilizing their abilities to thrive as the 2022 Persons with Disabilities Day is commemorated. Stephen Emnock has more in this report. This workshop has been in existence since 1980 and is a center where tricycles for the crippled are made. Interestingly, a tricycle can be produced in not more than six hours and the people who work and are trained here are only persons with disabilities. The chief engineer in this workshop is taking young PWDs off the streets by training and employing them in the craft of tricycle production as well as the construction of playground equipment for schools among others. Before, before you buy tricycle in, in Kano, you must go charge, charge or Cameroon. Before you finish your tricycle, you will take six months before do that. But we sit down now. Now, in six hours, we are making for you. We are making tricycle for you. One hour, the one is cutting iron. Two hours, the one is like welding. Three, uh, one hour again, fenta to come and do it. The one is put where uh, wheels, and then. The one who is combining the recycle, that is six hours. That's the reason why we sit down, we make by ourselves. The noise generated from this workshop can be unbearable for people, but not for those working here. Their hearing is impaired. 40-year-old Rufai Hani Sum has been working in this workshop for the past five years and through this craft has built a house of his own, has a car and adequately provides for his wife and seven children. And also I can make something that is a machine that can process rice. Also I can be able to make these hinges. This is hinges. I don't like begging. Yes, I need to work for myself. I have been doing it for many years. I have been doing so many things so that I can feed my family. So this is it. So this is my business. This is the only thing that I have been doing for many years. And I have people that are working under me. So I don't want to beg. So I need to work for myself. And if I want to beg, I will wait for somebody. If he gets, he will give me. But I'm just doing for my work. And many people are patronizing my business. Halima Ahmed has difficulty seeing objects from afar, but she's determined to pursue her goal of being a chef despite her disability. I have passion of cooking, baking. Baking, that is what draw my interest into this business. At first, I never go to any catering classes because of the passion and zeal I have. I use through YouTube any channel of cake, something, anything concerning baking, or any program that I see they bake or they cook anything. So on my own, I'll come and say, Tom, let me practice it. So far, my I do in that. Some people say, Halima Bazaik Yaba, because you have to go through carry the thing closer to your eyes. So, but all those things does not discourage me because I do love baking and cooking. The first birthday cake I made, at first it was not that good. So people started discouraging me. Kai Halima, but I cannot make it. So with that, I say, Kai, but I don't cake and find that she's cake any. So why won't I use it? I say, no matter how, very slow I am. I know most definitely I will do it. The Kano State government recently signed the 2021 PWD bill in Sulomo and the implication of this is that PWDs in the state will have their rights upheld and protected by law, thereby ensuring that they have equal rights and opportunities as anyone else. Our government considered it important to put PWD in the state where they are interested. So that what happens, that what brings this amendment bill that was uh, passed by Colonel State House of Assembly and also assented by His Excellency the Edict to Gono uh, recently. With the Disabilities Commission coming into being, many PWDs are hopeful that a future plan will be provided for them in Kano States. Stephen Enoch, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.